Maybe you're here because you watched the boys once. Maybe you're here because you're a mod enthusiast. Or maybe, just maybe you're here because you have this void in your heart and you've adopted as many cats as you can and all your friends and family are like, hey, can you stop adopting cats? And you just still can't fill the void, so you're playing The Sims. No matter the case, this is what the mod is and how to get started as quickly as possible and just a couple basics. Yeah. Let me tell you all the good features and make it quick. This mod is for you. Check out these villain walk styles. They make sense. And here's my super cool super lair. Here's a party where everyone likes me because I casted a friendship spell and now we're all besties, except for my bitch daughter, she still doesn't like me. Here's a good dose of conflict. And then here's a glitch where the sims are doing god knows what. And then some untimely death. Before we get started, I'm under the impression that if you subscribe, and also a lot of other people subscribe, then one day I get to keep the money from the ads that you have to watch to get here. First step, download the mod. Just google it if you don't know how to install it, but here's the link. So here's how to be a hero. Your first step is to start the quest in the Armageddon menu and to be a superhero. If your mod is installed right, this menu will pop up for you. Then this weird painting is gonna drop down and then it puts a bunch of people in danger, but it is to test you. All you gotta do is save everyone from dying at the same time, otherwise you're just gonna have urns scattered everywhere. I was actually so bad at finding the victims at first that there were so many casualties that I had to build a cemetery in my backyard, but not in a weird way. And then the painting says, yes, queen, and then gives you powers. This is me being the proud recipient of powers. Um, this mod will also come with superhero outfits as well, because The Sims is really just playing Barbies. It is. Um, so just like all the other mods in the cults like this, you just gotta practice your superpower skill to get better at it. At first, you're given just the basics so you can cast friendships and make everybody like each other, call doves or just like spawn meals for your new friends. Oh yeah, and you gotta regenerate your powers. Um, you have like an energy moodlet now. And do not get me started on the walk styles, my god. Every time you are busy with something in your life, someone could potentially die. At first, I accidentally let a lot of people die because I couldn't find them on time. Damn it. What a tragedy. The pause button is your friend. But typically these birds come and your senses tingle and you know that someone needs saving. So you get notified up here when someone is in danger, but in this instance I was recharging my power so this guy got yeeted. Also, whoever you save will usually pay you like a thousand dollars. Now bad guys show up at your house, and you can choose how to handle it. Some interactions are deadly, and some are just kinda lame. The battles are super good though, like I was genuinely impressed with it. It's definitely better than anything that DC puts out. Pew pew! More fun features, you can fly really fast now. Here's some cool scenarios. Sometimes people are covered in insects and you need to spray them down. Sometimes a helicopter is about to crash above someone's head. And now anytime you visit a community lot, you may run into a killer clown, but there will definitely be some type of danger at every lot that you appear on. You can also remove people's powers. Or if they die, then you don't have to worry about that. So the clowns again. There really is a large number of these clowns. And uh, sometimes maybe they glitch a wee bit and you do too and then you have to fight two assholes at once and then you gotta be like oh shit fam let me grab you by the ankle. So yeah the biggest perks. Three types of spells. Self spells, target spells, or nearby sim spells. 
Some of these include like making food instantly. You can forge money. A fuck ton of doves. Making instant friends and your friends all instantly become friends with those friends. And it's not like everybody just thinks like, oh, Jennifer over here, she's a bitch and, and it's just like a whole thing. You can also boost yourself and you can boost your own skills and gains. It might be a bug, but every time I have a kid, they always hate me. It happens right after we fight villains, our uh, friendship levels just plummet. I have never... no. Okay. And real quick, here's how to be a villain. Their features are way cooler. You can you just talk to the painting in the same way you do as if you're going to be a hero. And you'd be like, hey painting, I'm ready to be an asshole. The, and then the painting will be like, okay, right on. So go beat up some of these cops and set some bikers on fire. So to be bad, you'll just have to sacrifice some sims. But in your defense, you will have really cool powers. Here I am obtaining said really cool superpowers, but at what cost? So these good guys show up on your lot all the time and they're trying to stop you and stuff. Lots of superheroes and cops and such will just appear, because now your main goal is global corruption. I'm going to tell you more about the global corruption in a sec, because it really is a lot of fun. This is about where I noticed the out of hand walk styles. Like what the f what the fuck is this? Because it's not okay. So play around with these walk styles because I swear to God they get even worse. Yeah, this is, this is everything I wanted from The Sims, that's for sure. So like, fleeing burglars will run into your house all the time and expect you to protect them. Sometimes cops will show up at the same time, like, chasing them. Then you say, no thank you officer, not today. Yeah. So here's a cool problem. Now that you're a villain, dating is not easy. So here's a blind date that I'm on. First off, serial killers and angry cops follow me to every venue I go to. So everyone's just scared. And he's ignoring me, I think. And he's also been crying a lot. Is that a red flag? I wasn't sure what my telekinetic force button did. So it turns out it just kills people and people don't really fancy that. I mean, we're not like super messed up about it, but we're kind of messed up about it. Now I don't even know what I clicked. The the date honestly could not have gone worse. Download Simda for blind dates. I made a video about it once somewhere. So let's dive into why exactly everyone hates you. Powers for supervillains are intense. You got deadly traits, which means everyone within a certain radius of you just dies. You can kill people, obviously. The world's corruption might be the worst. For example, like if you choose depression chaos, then every sim everywhere just gets like really, really depressed moodlets and they cry all day and you're just stuck in a room like full of sobbing people. So what's really dangerous about the global corruption is how widespread it affects everyone. And nobody is immune from the depression chaos either. Like, this, this toddler has some things on his mind. It's plus 99 sadness. You can't even do anything about it. Here's some ways to disturb the living. What's happening here is a nearby sim spell where everyone just wants to fight everyone. What is this? Here's more nearby sim spells that you can choose from. None have like a great outcome. Now it's time to look more villainy. More villainy. Hidden pro tip. Date the undead. Just download the vampire sims pack. But when you corrupt the world and cast global sadness and stuff, you'll probably still end up alone. Honestly. So I'm just like laying in bed with my girlfriend and she's just crying nonstop because the world is corrupt and there's depression chaos. And I won't give away everything, but probably mess around with global corruption. And play around with deadly traits if you want to eradicate an entire neighborhood.
Yeah, maybe avoid this mod if you if you like your sims. Walk style, walk style, walk style, walk style. Anyway, yeah, this mod is total chaos. I kind of love it. It's, it's the best. So if you want to know how I got here, just let me know in the comments. But yeah, there it is. And I hope you learned something somewhere. Thank you so much for watching. And if today is your birthday, then fuck you. And if you subscribe, it really does help my channel.